today we've got Cash Cutbert on the line. Cash is an offensive tackle out of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Cash, how are you? Good, and you? Good, thanks. Uh, thanks for joining me or chatting with me today. Um, let's get right into it. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in your football career. Um, so it was, I was about nine or ten. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but the football coaches and my dad, they're all kind of, I was a big kid, right? So they all kind of wanted me to play. I was like, all right, well, I'll give it a try. So um, went down to a football camp in Seattle, went down to a lawyer Malloy camp, I do believe it was. And that was before my first year. So I got a good start there and then came back, started playing in Weyburn and played O-line there. I mean, first few years weren't, wasn't really my thing. I don't know. It was kind of, I wasn't too happy to be, I guess I'll say. But after those first couple of years, I kind of started to really enjoy it. And it was, just became football. I love football, right? What made you start to enjoy it more? I'm not really totally sure. It was kind of one of those things where it was just after one of the games that I really enjoyed. It was just kind of like, you know what? This is really fun. I'm, I think I'm going to keep going with football and try my hardest. So what do you like most about your position now that you're playing? In this I really like that it's a physical position. You're always in every single play. It's, there's not a play that you're out. You're always doing something. I love the team, like the team within a team type thing that you get with O-line. It's not just you're by yourself and you're doing your thing. You're, you're working as a team. It's just, I just love it it's so much. It is better than other positions but i don't really know because i haven't played other positions <laughs> so we're not sure if you've done this already but cfc has just recently revamped um our player profile section um so okay. players can now go and update and add any f information such as any offers that you've gotten any considerations i think up to 10 like schools that you're you're looking at or, or and your commitment near the end when you're um coming out along with your highlight workout highlight or workout or combine videos like the ones we did in Saskatchewan we sent you guys the video of the the combine drills plus any articles that we've written about you uh will be linked there as well as any scouting reports or other podcasts that we do uh like the recruiting masters podcast so if you haven't done that make sure you've submitted that profile or at least update your information and you can update it as much as you want as many times as you want so you don't have to email us and say you know my weight is this or my height is with this now etc so but that being said outside of the tangibles what type of player would you say you are just kind of saying kind of under the radar i don't really look for a whole lot of recognition or anything just kind of go out and do my job and get my job done to the best i can and then celebrate with all the other guys after when if it goes well so. how would you say you best respond to different types of coaching what what makes you um the most motivated or uh things like that honestly i haven't really found too much of a difference between coaches who are kind of more relaxed or kind of i guess more enthusiastic i guess i'll say about coaching it's one of those things i've always just kind of thought of as they're coaching me they're here to teach me how to do it so i'll try to do the best that they are teaching me to do and not really worry about how they're teaching me to do it so during the season, what would you say is your favorite part about football? I would definitely have to say it's the games because it just that's where everything all comes together. And then we all get to see if we're up to snuff, I guess, for the other teams in the league and see how we work as a team. So it's, I always just like the games much better than anything else. What would your goals be for this season? My goal would pretty much be to be um, a team leader this year since I'm in grade 12. I would definitely like to be um, one of the leaders on the team that people look up to. Definitely would like to win a few games this year. What did your off season look like the past six months? It really wasn't too bad here. Um, there was only about maybe a month or so or a few weeks where I couldn't actually go to the gym. But it was as soon as we got back in, it was, wasn't really too different. It was just more about cleaning and staying away from other people in the gym. So it's been, I've still been going to the gym, making sure I'm lifting and just staying conditioned. So it's nice that. It really wasn't. We weren't hit too bad here. We ranked you on the CFC 200 class of 2021. How did that feel when you got firstly ranked? And how has that maybe changed or maybe it hasn't changed your outlook on how you want to progress or has that motivated you at all? Well, it was kind of, I wasn't really totally sure what was going on. I was kind of, <laughs> what? When, when did this happen? And then I was, I was excited and it made me want to do much better. Like it wanted me to, made me want to get in the gym more make sure that I was staying in those rankings and it just 
made me excited to keep progressing in football. Just for those of you who are listening, the CFC prospect rankings are on CanadaFootballChat.com under the rankings tab that you can access with your gold membership. Those rankings, um, I know we've been doing those for about 10 years now. So uh, I do know that we just had a combine in Saskatchewan, Moose Jaw actually, or Regina, sorry. And um, I got to say, like, I was f- from last year when we saw you to this year, like you've ac- you've done a lo- quite a bit of work. You've improved quite a bit. Um, I was impressed with with what you produce with your testing and all that kind of stuff how would you explain or, or talk about that experience the combine and and then if you've done any other sort of camps like down in the states um well i really liked that combine it was it was good it helped actually um it helped display i guess our skills a little bit better um and it was nice to actually get to go and do another combine like it was kind of in that dead zone we haven't done football for a long time so it was nice to get out and actually do some football so i actually went down to a few last summer so i was going to go again this summer and do a few more those were interesting too there were so many kids there and it was just some of them it was kind of hard to get a look people just wouldn't look at you because there's so many kids and especially since i was a junior last year this year i was planning on going down to a few and hopefully getting um looked at quite a bit more because i was in grade 12 and mm-hmm. I feel like I have progressed quite a bit since last year. So it would have been um, one of those experiences where it would be getting a few more offers from down in the States. But so. How has the recruiting process been for you? I mean, it's been pretty good. I'm not really totally sure if it's been busy or what it really has been since it's the first time doing it all. But from my opinion, it's been pretty good. Not too busy, but it has been fairly busy. Not every single school, but like there's the schools that I want to go to are the ones that are do you have a short list of schools kind of just considering every school that contacts me it's one of those things where i'll look and see like what they can offer school wise and program wise um and just looking for the best situation for me what are you looking for in your future school both academically and athletically um i'm kind of looking for um one of those schools that has a really good really good programs and like a prestigious program for their school because it's i mean you can't always play football for the rest of your life right so you gotta Mm -hmm. gotta have something to fall back on when you can't play anymore so i'm hoping to go into some sort of engineering but um definitely love to have a really good degree in engineering for football wise i would love to be on a team that just it's not one of those teams where it's just go and play football It's one of those teams that football is life. It's not just, okay, we're going to go do this and this. It's, well, we're going to work around this so we can do this and this and not just going to do it, right? For the rest of the listeners, there's some young ones probably listening who are just starting their recruiting process. I know that uh, CFC has a ton of recruiting tips on our website Um, and we've also just launched a four-week recruiting academy certificate course to help Canadians navigate through that sometimes in murky world. You can find out more about that on CanadaFootballChat.com. But that being said, recruiting can be a tremendous experience um, for some, and for others, it can be pretty stressful. How have you dealt with the kind of more stressful or or mental aspect of the process? Um, I haven't really had too much stress, but the stress I have had has kind of been, I've talked with my parents about stuff, and some of my friends at school, they don't really involve in football or anything, but they've been very supportive about it all. So it's been, the stress has been kind of minimalized for me. How have you dealt with the performance expectation of, of playing at such a high level and continuing to play at that, le- at that level? And is it your, um, like you're mentioning the support group around you, who keeps you grounded or, or with a level head? Honestly, it's kind of one of those things where I've always just kind of loved to have that pressure perform better it's not really it hasn't really stressed me out too much it's always kind of been okay well i'll go get better then my parents have helped definitely help keep me grounded and on track you know surrounding yourself with like-minded people is super important have you had any issues or or has it been hard for you to deal with maybe the peer pressure of your peer group well it's one of those things where i've always kind of thought it's, I don't need to go and party or do whatever. I can go and do that later in life. That's not, it's not one of those things where I need to worry about it right now. It's, mm. it's, if I want to, I can do it later in life, but it's, I don't really see the point in it. It feels like a big waste of time to me. 
So I'd rather just keep on with my goals, get somewhere in life and potentially just be better. So we're going to just do a quick little game. So, so I'm going to say a statement. You're either going to choose between the two selections or you're going to say what the first thing that comes to your mind. What are you watching on Netflix? Ooh. It'd probably be like, um, I just kind of starting to finish up Breaking Bad on Netflix. So. What would you wear? A helmet visor and a back plate or gold colored cleats? Mm. <laughs> neither one of those oh, no. okay well what would you wear well, yeah i would just just wear the normal football get up i'm not really flashy i don't like to be flashy okay what's on your music playlist Ooh, typically country music like older country not none of that new stuff just older stuff 80s 90s stuff so you're the general manager of a professional football team you have the first pick of the draft who are you taking i don't even know <laughs> anyone in the past okay so in the past who would you have taken hmm. no clue honestly it would just be such a one of those things where i would need to consult with so many people before i could even (laughs) bother picking someone sweet or salty depends oh wow you're like right in the middle (laughs) Mm -hmm. okay so do you prefer dogs or cats um probably dogs favorite blockbuster Ooh, there's so many good movies um probably the avengers endgame series so think vacation adventure race or sit on a beach oh adventure race definitely social media twitter instagram or facebook twitter <laughs> I <don't really. laughs> if you could have only one video game what would it be no, I don't play too many video games, so it's one of those things I've just never really. Do you read books? <laughs> yeah. What I book do. would you What book would you choose then? Um, I like I enjoy Jules Verne books. And one last one: if you could be one person, a non-athlete in the world, past or present, who would it be? Oh, that's another tough one. We might be here a while if I have to think about that one. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just say pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, Cash, for taking the time to chat with me today about what's been going on. Good luck this year. Um, We hope you achieve the goals that you've laid out before you. As we always say, plan the work, work the plan. Looking for more exclusive Canadian recruiting content? Become a CFC Insider Gold or Silver member today for access to rankings, analysis, and the latest recruiting news from across the country.